Many people in America are familiar with marketing statistics and empirical data and probability rates. Probability rates are what will happen or predictive behavior, somewhat of a profiler, might do of what is the predictability rate of what something or what someone might do or might not do, who's involved with you or not involved with you. <clears throat> in my time of living in homelessness because of an illegal act on my name that was fraudulent and the constant cybercrime impacting my ability to use technology not only for my business but for my life conducted by family of origin and local law enforcement who have been abusing the laws of America the federal laws of America and the men and women in local retail shops who are interested in hacking and smacking a homeless person's life like mine is that in general the people they had served by the community at large who are presenting clearly that they are homeless as opposed to just somebody walking around with a sign that Americans regardless of their background their race their creed and their tribe will first serve a black man will second serve a woman who's white and will third or last serve a white Caucasian. The most people who help people like me who are homeless, who are white and male and heterosexual, happen to be more affluent and educated black women, many of whom might be in the play or many of whom might be playing with me in some way. A generous and kind family can do a lot of help to someone who's homeless, by passing around information in positive gossip to a group so that people who might see me because they I've been described to them of the experience they've had with me they might play me with a dollar or two but the truth is that most homeless people are looking for three things and it's interesting that maybe I've sort of sold this out of order that really I usually say shelter sustenance and service but maybe it truly needs to be sustenance shelter and service because the first thing on my agenda each morning, just like it is for you, if you're not living in impoverishment and you're not living paycheck to paycheck or worried about finances, is food. The second thing that people are usually concerned with by the end of the day or during the day in the heat of the summer and the magnitude of the rain is shelter. And the third thing that most of us are worried about is finding some service that we can do. Because once we have the main things covered, then we are able to focus on getting a job or providing business consulting information based on our history and experience in business. <clears throat>